How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and people everywhere, and my friends abundant? I am the professor. Julia Sumner Miller is my name. And physics we do. And this one is most, most dramatic and exciting. Come with me to a boiling pot. A boiling pot. Here is a chamber, a spherical flask, in which we have been boiling some water. You see the water's boiling. Now, boiling, boiling, oh, that's a very difficult process. It would take me an hour to account for it properly. But anyway, the vapor pressure of the water is equal to the atmospheric pressure here, and we say the water is boiling. Now I'm going to, I'm going to take the heat away and stop her up. Stop her up. Oop, stop her it up. There, I'm having a little trouble. I'm, oop, I'm having a little trouble. There it is. I'll get it all right. Whoop, there, notice I'll get it all right. The pressure here is giving me trouble, but that's how nature behaves. And now I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of that. And now the water has stopped boiling. The water has stopped boiling. Watch it. Very difficult sometimes experiments are to do. Watch it now. The water has stopped boiling. It has stopped. Now, if things have not gotten bad for me and nature, I'm going to make that water boil, not by adding more heat to it, but rather by taking heat away. Watch it now. Look at that. Look at that water boil. And I'm pouring ice water on there, and I'm making that water boil. There it is, boiling again by pouring ice water on it. And I'm going to do something more dramatic. I'm going to lay my hands on there. First, I'm going to get them a little cool with the ice water because I don't want to get burned by that hot vessel. Watch now. Boil! Boil! <laughs> if I say in this castle, water boil, what must it do? It must boil. Let it quiet again. See, I'm just cooling my hands, so it has stopped boiling. Watch it now. Boil, 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 there it does. And how long could I continue this? For a long time, because this is a place of great mystery. Great mystery. Watch it. Watch it. I'm going to make it boil again. And why am I doing this so much? Because I think it is very, very mystic and dramatic. Boil. It's boiling a little. But I haven't taken enough heat away, so it can't boil. So somebody says, why, that man is mad. And I admit I am a little. But you have to be a little mad to work best with nature. Boil. There it's boiling. There it's boiling. And now we should look at it and ask, why is it so? And that is a powerful question. Why? Is it so? And these matters I will explain in this fashion. Let this be the flask. Let this be the water in it. And I have boiled the water. And I have driven out all the air and the occluded gases wrapped up in the water so that this place is filled with water vapor. And then I stopped it up, and then I took the water away, and it stopped boiling. Now what did I do? I put on my cold hands, or poured on some ice water. The water vapor in here condensed back into water. And now, of course, the pressure in here is very low, and water can boil at a lower temperature at a lower pressure. And so, in this instance, if you will allow the reference, by the laying on of my hands, this mysterious business was accomplished. By the laying on of hands, mysterious businesses are indeed accomplished. And I think that's wonderful to contemplate. Boiling water at nearly the point of freezing. And I thank you for watching.